Hey everybody, Ms. Kine here, and today I'm going to talk about activity 1.5, the blinking message updated. And we're learning how to be creative with LED programming. And the essential question today is how do you express yourself and your creativity using a computer program? So we're going to start by opening up activity 1.5 in Project Lead the Way. We have a link right here. And we're going to use Draw.io, or we can use Google Draw to build our flowchart. Again, this is the book that we'll build in class to help um, other students complete the lesson. So we build that together to help give people a guide for the class. And don't forget that your book is right down here in your Google assignment. So you can open that right now. So Ms. Klein is going to open up 1.5. If you've saved your password in Chrome, your Project Either Way will open up right away. So we're talking about the materials that we need, the essential questions. How can algorithmic thinking skills be used across multiple disciplines? That means in other areas like medicine, science. How can computer problems programs solve problems? And which is the basic point is to solve any problem, even, even if the problem is a game. We're going to use our Make Code programming environment, makecode.microbit.org. Well, you are able to check out a microcontroller if you'd like. Just let this client know and she'll send one home with you. And we're going to start by learning about informative LEDs. And you can see LEDs are used in everyday life. They're all over the place giving us messages. And they can even make an um, image, which is really neat. We're just programming each line of that LED to make an image scroll across the screen. You can also make emojis, things like that. So I encourage you to read the lesson. And then we'll get right down here to starting the blinking message project. And we're thinking about the various ways we can we communicate with friends or family. So this project is going to create a message using the grid. We're not going to use the string block, which would just simply scroll a message across the screen. We're learning how to make that image on a grid. So you're going to start with a flow chart. And we'll go back to Ms. Klein's book here. We'll start with a flow chart. And you'll say, what is the image that you want to show? You could say something like, I want it to show happy 2021. But remember that you want it to flash or scroll or display. So in this situation, this message is actually scrolling across the screen. So you would have to program it column by column as the image scrolls past on the screen. That one's a little more complicated, but whatever it is you would like to make the message do. So for example, I put down, I would say, happy 2021 with a smiley emoji. So if I'm going to design my flowchart, this link right here opens up to Draw IO, so you can know about that. Remember with Draw IO, we're creating a new diagram and we're saving it to our device and we can leave it untitled. It doesn't need a name because you're going to do a screenshot. And the other thing that you can do is you can export, you can share a link to it if you want to share it to a teacher in another class. So it's always we start with our oval. And we finish with our oval. That's our start. And that's our stop. And for Miss Klein start, I'm going to say, you can have it start anyway, but I'm going to say press button A. And then for each event, you're going to have a rectangle. So for the sake of this exercise, because the flowchart will get very long on the way, see. I might just say 2021. I'm going to say a repeat loop. And then LED display two. 
and then since I'm going to copy, copy and paste that LED display zero. And then I did want to have a smiley emoji at the end. So what I put in quotes is what I'm going to display. Now I need to have an arrow that I wanted to face down. So I'm going to turn it now. I grab the tip and turn it down. And then I'm going to copy and paste that. So control C, control V. Six times. So now I have an arrow. You just grab the, the top of the arrow. It's hard to, it's funny, if I grab it there, I might wiggle it. So, see, it's really, yeah, it's funny. You have to click away, and then, then you can select it. Okay, and then I'm ready for the end. So my, that's kind of my idea right there. Okay, so I need to fix my change my two to a zero, and then two to one here. So I'm just going to say so I'm going to go back and there now my flowchart's ready. So I'm going to copy it. Put it in my book. I can go insert, image, and I have a screenshot. Here's my image. I'm going to fix my message that says, instead of happy 2021, just 2021, and a smiley emoji there. And I might make that a little bigger so that you can see it. There, so I'm ready for the next part. Now I'm going to actually program it. So I need to draw the number two here, <laughs> which is probably not as easy as I thought it would be. And it's okay if it's not super neat, don't, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna kind of be a little sneaky with this. I think I'm gonna copy this whole thing here and paste it here because it's 2021. Ah. So I'm gonna highlight all those. I'm gonna see if I can group those, group. Oh good, okay, so I grouped them. So I highlighted them and then I went arrange and group. And then I was able to highlight it again. And then I was able to edit or, or excuse me, um, control C, control V to paste it. So I've got a two. So this time I just need a zero. Remember you can make your image do anything you want it to do. If it, they disappear, it means that they are in the back. So you wanna make sure these are all arrange bring to the front so that that image is in the background. There we go. So there's my zero. I'm not going to make it a very creative zero. You could you can make it curvy if you want, but you don't have to. I gave you way more blocks than, oh, see. OK, I wish I knew I did that. So I'm going to put all those arrange, order, bring to the front. So you saw how I did that. I highlighted them all. So hopefully now they'll be. 
it needs to be exact blocks because what you put in the block is what you're going to see but it's okay if it's a little crooked because when you program it it's not going to be crooked don't worry So I'm no, I'm not going to need all these. I'm going to delete one of these pages here because I don't need it. Trying to match the other side here. There we go. There, I've got a 20. Now I just need a one. So the next page, all I will need on it is my emoji. So I've got 2021. And my next page is going to just be my little emoji. So these are just going to flash. They're not going to scroll. If you want to do something more complicated, you can definitely make your message scroll. And I did that the first time I took this class, because all the teachers go to the class to learn how to do this class, how to teach this class. And the fun thing is I made the arrow scroll and I was really proud of myself because that was a lot of fun. So I want to make sure my smile's not lopsided. Good, there's a smile right there. I'm all done. That's my, so I did my flow chart. What's my idea? My flow chart, my actual coding. So I don't need these. And again, that example is if you highlight all of this together, you go to the arrange and you can group it. Then you can move it as a group. So that's kind of a little trick you can learn. Now, if you want to un, if you want to, if I want to fix that little block there, I would have to ungroup it to be able to fix that little block there. Okay, so now we're going to build it in the make code emulator. We're going to click create a project. We're going to name it with our last name, first name in the title. Build your project. Then you're going to click the share button in the top menu, then publish, and then share the, the link here in this page. So for Ms. Klein, I'm going to delete this because I'm going to put my own code link right there. And then you can also do project 1.5 challenge, which is a little further along, which is, it's a lot of fun. And I'll, I'll include that in a minute as well. So I'm gonna open up make code emulator and click new project. And I'm just gonna name it exactly what it was. And then don't forget your There we go, 2021 LED. There, that's pretty clear. So I created my project. So for me, I wanted it to start with a button. So I'm going to say, oops, I'm sorry, input on button A pressed. And then I can grab my LEDs. Now remember you can grab one L one block and you can control C and then you can control V instead of having to oh even better I can click that one, control C and control V, and I don't have to draw the number two again. Perfect. 2020. There we go. And then my smiley, maybe I'll do this. It's probably too far apart. I'm trying to make my smiley not look funny.
I don't need that one anymore. So let's see what happens when I press my button A. Interesting, I forgot to put a forever loop. So let's go to our loops and maybe I'll repeat it four times. And then I'll finish with a smiley. Give it a little bit more creativity there. Let's try that now. Just gonna say 2021, four times, and then smiley. And then I think I'll make it two. So if you guys are, if you are trying to practice Miss Klein's, you can see it a little faster then. So don't forget, you're gonna share it. It automatically saves, then you have to publish it, then you're going to copy it. That's the code. You're going to put the copy in your booklet. Oh, I forgot. If you do shift control V, I don't want to make a new box because it doesn't know that, but if I stay in the box here, I'm inside this text box here. If I do shift control V, it'll publish, it'll print it in the same font. I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna make it a link. And I like to make my links uh, dark blue. So they're like the internet links. And now it's clickable. And if I open it up, it's gonna show me my program. So I can see the simulator and there's Ms. Klein's program. So now really quickly, we are going to look at the next section is project 1.5 challenge. It's actually not that challenging. I don't want to scare you with the word challenge. And I know that this isn't a difficult class, but you have a lot on your plate through distance learning. So Ms. Klein's trying to give you activities that we can do in the hour that we have together three times a week. 1.5 is really neat. We're going to watch the video. We're going to learn some vocabulary words about the compass and the accelerometer. A compass is giving us direction and the accelerometer tells us how fast we're going. So the with the micro bit, it has a sensor in there so that you can tell direction or speed. So you'll open up that project and then you're going to go through these lessons just to test it out. Those are just for fun. There's not a lot to do there. You can take screenshots and turn it in if you like, but that was just some extra things to learn about the micro bit. And that, as they say, is that. That's that's all there is to 1.5. So Ms. Klein, each time we have a lesson, we can do it in one hour, the one short hour that we have together three times a week so that you don't have any too much work during this challenging time of distance learning. Good job.